in a word, what we're talking about is is a, a very unusual occurrence, at least in North America, um, what will happen on uh, April uh, uh, the 8th. It's an occurrence that is uh, something like um, once in a lifetime, a uh, total solar eclipse. What that means is that uh, basically you have the shadow uh, of the moon completely covering uh, the, uh, the, the, the sun. And normally, uh, what we're used to uh, viewing is a partial solar eclipse, but this one is unusual. And the way it's going to occur is that the, the eclipse path will start in the South Pacific Ocean, uh, passing through Mexico, the United States, all the way uh, uh, to Canada. And why is this eclipse uh, unique? It's because most solar eclipses are partial. That is, the sun is part hidden by the moon. Uh, total solar eclipses mean that the moon shadow uh, totally covers um, uh, the sun. This is rare because the moon's shadow is not big uh, enough uh, normally. Um, and and, they, and there's um, uh, a few places um, uh, on the earth where a total eclipse uh, can happen. And North America generally just happened to be, um, uh, to fall uh, on the path, uh, on this unique um, uh, uh, path. Uh, but to be uh, visible, um, you must be either on the exact path uh, of the eclipse, or at least along a narrow band, let's say about 185 kilometers or at least 115 miles uh, of the path. And the actual uh, eclipse, that's it, that is its totality, uh, darkness, its uh, darkness or duration of it, it's somewhere around about four minutes and a few seconds. Okay, um, and of course that depends again uh, on the on your position uh, on the exact uh, path itself. And again, uh, for those who probably pay attention to this, I believe the longest recorded total uh, eclipse was somewhere around June 1955, uh, somewhere thereabouts, which lasted something like seven minutes and eight seconds. How often does this happen? Um, a, a partial eclipse, uh, for example, uh, almost every, I would say seven years, but the full eclipse, uh, like I said, it is very rare. Like for example, uh, the next one that is um, um, projected will be sometime in 2044. So 20 years from now, that's when uh, we'll experience another full uh, total eclipse. Why is it necessary for people to wear those special glasses to look at it? Well, uh, part of it because it is extremely dangerous um, uh, to view, at least look at uh, the eclipse without uh, wearing any protective um, uh, eyewear. Where it's more dangerous, it's when the uh, sh the uh, the moon is partially uh, covering. With this, the eclipse is partially uh, is not yet totally full. When it's totally full, you can actually look at it uh, for that period. But as it passes, when it is partially, that's when the intensity uh, uh, of the um, of the sun's uh, uh, rays are very very dangerous to a naked eye. So you have to have uh, protection in order uh, to, to actually see, uh, otherwise you will have, uh, uh, you know, you damage your eyesight.